Welcome to the 20 Minute Gamer channel. I'm your host, Nick, and today we're looking at a title called Flocking Hell. Now, this game is not out yet. There is a demo that is dropping November 19th of this year, 2024, and the game's expected release date currently is March of 2025, all right, just next year. Now, I was approached by the developer to look at the title. They felt as though the gameplay was, uh, was in line with what we try to aim for on the 20 Minute Gamer channel. While we do have a few games, maybe sometimes we play that are uh, what I would call games of luxury, most of the games we play are usually pretty good for the budget of time. Now, Flocking Hell is no different. Flocking Hell is a good five to seven minute game, and it's um, I, I want to try to explain this correctly, okay? Uh, you have a flock of sheep, and it's a turn-based strategy, and you have these, uh, these spawns of... Uh, of hell right they come out of the ground at the end of the turn selection okay and at that point in time they go to each one of your villages the goal is to make the right choices and use the right cards so that your villages can withstand the uh withstand the horde that's coming after each village okay uh i am not a pro I myself am still kind of in a learning process here. So we're gonna go ahead and restart the campaign. Uh, I played this for a little bit, uh, but I'm super excited to show this to you. There'll be links in the description. Uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know if this is your type of game. Let's get into it. All right. All right, so uh, here is our, uh, here's our time frame. Uh, we have 80 turns. We currently have 12 sheep, okay? Uh, so that's, uh, I'll tell you right there, I guess, uh, turns where there are no turns left. The demons will attack sheep, your trusted allies and main resources. You're used to build roads, mine and play cards, uh, crystals. When the demons attack at the end of the level, your crystal blast will deal damage to them equal to this value. So you also want to try and collect crystals, uh, as you can, uh, now you have uh this is a roguelite so you do have roguelike uh cards that you can go uh you can utilize uh lose a heart whenever you defeat it in a level um we can view our deck here's stuff that we have that we can use uh but yeah so uh in the in roguelite fashion at the end of each level you get the ability to kind of select some cards okay uh but we're just going to go ahead and kind of um kind of jump into it now you saw that I had um, uh, my grassland I selected gave me two sheep. So that means that there should be some villages. There should be at least two villages around here. So it's kind of like Minesweeper in that way. As you unlock tiles, the amount of um, the amount of sheep you give will tell you. Um, let's see here. It should tell you how many cities are nearby, all right? Try and... Awesome. Love finding these right out of the gate. All right, so you wanna go ahead and build your roads. Your roads are important because they get the sheep kind of moving. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and mark a farm tile uh, the nearest crystal mine gains three sheep. There's a crystal mine right there. Losing sheep here. Uh, nearest hidden city. Beautiful. All right. You got that. Feel the nearest hidden city. I need more sheep. All right, beautiful. All right, uh, you get these beacons. Uh, that means that the adjacent city gets plus one damage. And you can kind of see, so this is gonna be four damage and I currently have 77 quote unquote sheep at this location, all right? Um, oof. Need more sheep. I am. 20 turns left. Ew. All 
All right, I've got three turns left. I got to connect some cities here. I'm done for. Oh, man. Crystal Blast is going to hit them for 95. I am not doing so good on this first mission. It's actually pretty bad. I've done a lot better before. But all things said and done, I think we're going to win this one. We won it. That's all that matters, man. That's all that matters to me. All right. Choose a guy to recruit. Uh... Play a card in a city that gains 10 size. Hell yeah. That's what I want. Gain three sheep. Uh, I kind of like advanced warning. I do come across the Hellgate uh, pretty often, actually, in my playthrough. Um, okay. Nice. Got that. Oh, man. Get those connected. Oh, man, this is lucky. This is lucky here. I've never had so many. Oh, I've never had so many cities connect in this way. Hang on. Cottages within distance. Cottages within distance four or less. Yeah, dude, look at that. Love that. Uh. Oh, man. Nothing else. Nothing else I can do. That's it. That's all she wrote, man. You know, we've got the uh, We've got some uh, we've got some good cities. Um, hopefully we pull this off. I think we got this in the bag, man. I do. Look at that. Look at that. Two in a row. Two in a row. And, you know, we've only been playing for like eight minutes, you know? So, um, there's a lot that this game offers in regards to which of each city connected here. Mark a crystal mine. Rare. Real two adjacent tiles. All right. But there, there's a, a lot, I think, that this this game offers in regards to the the time that you're sort of required put in. And I, I think that that's something that um, city connected here. 
reveal two adjacent tiles. Nice, okay. I'm gonna clear that corner. Um, reveal the nearest hidden city. Yes! A lot of farms here, man. Reveal the nearest hidden city. Yes, okay. Uh... Any turns left? Um, damn it. I wanted to reveal two adjacent tiles. Oh, gate is revealed. The city gains 30 size. Yes, baby. Come on. Um, Or distance uh, nearest crystal mine gains three sheep. Come on, give me some more farm. I got one turn left. Oh, there's nothing we can do, man. Bring it home, man. We got this one again, man. We got this again. I guarantee it. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. We got this. Look at that. Bam. Three in the books. Thousand experience. Uh, one size of this city becomes equal to the size. I like that. Yes, need that. Uh, in pasture anywhere on the map. Oh, my God, I'm dying here. Oh, thank the gods. Uh, free roads and all adjacent tiles. Yes. Take that. I have no sheep, man. Yes, yes, connect those. Thank you. Um, I need more sheep. Oh, come on. The size of this city becomes equal to the size. Uh, extra turn, gain three turns, yes. Um, 
Yes. Uh. Yo. Okay. Uh, the Hellgate is. City gains thirty. Got it. Okay. Mark a farm tile. Beautiful. All right. Let's see how it goes, man. I think we did pretty good. We uncovered a lot of cities there. And I think they're all connected for the most part. Now, I, I honestly, I think these bigger cities are uh, definitely helped out. This one is putting in a lot of work. Look, man, we almost we were going toe to toe there for a little bit. And we stepped away from that one. Beautiful. All right. Well, that's blocking hell. Um, like I said, the demo comes out on the 19th. Uh, I'm probably going to drop some more videos of this in between then, uh, in between now and then, just to get this game a, a little bit more real estate. Uh, I like the way it plays. I like how it is on my time budget and uh, similar to critical fishing that I played uh, not too long ago. It's also one of those games where you can kind of get in and it doesn't require. I mean, there's some thought involved in it, but it doesn't require a ton of thought. Once again, it's another one of those really nice flowy games. Um, we can kind of sit back and enjoy what you're playing. Uh, you don't have to necessarily feel concerned. You know, you can look away. You can have the TV on. You can decompress with this game. And I don't think that there are that many games out there like this. So uh, check it out. Steam link in the description. Okay. Uh, I will. Uh, I will see you on the next one though. Okay. So stay safe. Nick out.